The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find statutory law in Lexis Advance. You can find statutes in Lexis Advance through a combination of browsing and searching methods using the Lexis Advance search box. Let's first take a look at how to find statutes by searching by citation. To search by citation, simply enter your code citation and click search. Once you click search, your statute should appear. To search for statutes by terms, you will first want to limit your search parameters. You can limit your search parameters by content type, which would be statutes and legislation, jurisdiction, such as federal and Georgia, and practice area. Selecting a practice area is not always necessary, but you should at least select statutes and the jurisdiction you want to search. Once you have selected your search parameters, then you can enter your search terms. Let's look for statutes pertaining to adverse possession. We enter in our terms, click search, and the results should appear. You can narrow the list of results by searching for other terms within the results or selecting one of the filters along the left side of the screen. To browse for statutes on a specific topic, you would first click on Browse Topics. From there you can select a topic from the list or search for a topic using the Topic search box. If we click on Real Property, you will find yourself at a list of subsidiary topics for Real Property Law. You can further drill down for topics under Adverse Possession, or you can click on Adverse Possession, add the topic to the search box, or click Get Topic Documents. Get Topic Documents will retrieve all of the documents that have been assigned Adverse Possession as a topic. Once you get to the list of documents, you should select Legislative under the tabs. You can search within your results using keywords and filter the list of results using the filters on the left side of the screen. The filters you will use most often are content type, jurisdiction, and source. To restrict to only current statutes in a statutory code, select codes under content type. To enter a statute, you would click on the citation. To browse for statutes by sources, you would first click on Browse Sources. From here you have a couple of options. You can leave All selected in the right column. The narrow function on the left side of the screen will enable you to search for sources by name or keyword and limit sources by content type and jurisdiction. If you are only looking for statutory codes, we would select Statutes and Legislation under Content Type, and then Codes. Now you can browse through the list of codes in the right column, or you can further restrict your list by jurisdiction. The list includes codes for each state, such as the Official Code of Georgia, and the Federal Code, the United States Code Service. When you click on the United States Code Service, you will have three options. You can view all information for this search, which will provide you with the content, description, and coverage information. Add this source to the search, which will add this source to your search bar. That way when you run a search, you will only be searching in this particular source. If you want to search across an additional code, such as Georgia, you would click on it and add it to the search as well. You can also save the source as a favorite. To view the United States Code Service Table of Contents, click on View Table of Contents. From there you can browse through the code by clicking on the arrows next to Title and Chapter, or you can use the Search Table of Contents search box to search for a specific section. Now that we know how to locate statutes, let's explore what one looks like in Lexis Advance. For the most part, a statute you access in Lexis Advance will look similar to one you access in a printed code, with a few more editorial enhancements and tools. We will start from the top of the page and work our way down. Starting with the tools in the top right corner, you will first find Shepherdize. Shepherdize allows you to access the Shepherds Report, which will provide you with information on possible legislative changes, how the statutes have been treated by courts, and analysis of the statute. 
table of contents will allow you to view where your statutes reside in relation to other statutes in the United States Code Service. To view the full table of contents, you would click on View Full. The Jump To function allows you to quickly jump to a specific part of the page. Book Browse allows you to flip to the previous and next sections of the code. At the top of every statute, you will find the code citation in bold. The citation provides the title number and the section number. Following the citation, you will find information on how current the statute is in Lexis Advance. Next, you will find another table of contents type function, which provides information on the title, part, and chapter your statute resides in. Following this information, you will find the section number and the section name. Next, you will find the statutory text. Following the statutory text, you will find the history section, which covers when the statute was passed and amended, along with references to the public law and statutes at large citations for those amendments. Following history, you will find the annotations, which includes the notes section, case notes, and research references and practice aids. The notes section includes detailed information about the amendments. The case notes section includes cases that have interpreted the statute. The cases are organized based on topic, and they can be quickly accessed by clicking on the arrow beside the number in the table of contents that corresponds to your topic. Research references and practice aids includes information on related statutes, as well as references to law reviews and other secondary sources. That is it for your overview of statutes in Lexis Advance.